There's a natural indwelt desire in human beings to accomplish goals, get work done, tidy up, and also every once in a while let loose and just have some good old fashioned fun. An ATV, well, that's just one way to do it all. I'm labeling this brand new 2016 Polaris Sportsman 450 HO, the everyman's ATV. Ladies, you are included. Now, why do I give it such a broad title? It's exactly what I'm here to show you. We test a lot of products around here, amphibious, race ready, workhorses, and recreational. But at the end of the day, there is a whole lot of upsell that is natural for us to desire. When truth be told, there's entry level rides that do it all and quite well at that. No, I'm not condemning 1000cc Wildcats, 850 Outlanders, or even 700 Grizzlies. I'm just saying, we do have a tendency to push bigger and better. Heck, this is North America where a small fry and regular drink just don't cut it. Or do they? And should we be more open to a Slim Fast and a Nutrigrain bar to satisfy our needs? While I'm making it sound pretty poverty line, the truth is this 450 Sportsman really isn't a big departure from the big bikes. And when put to the test, we'll do just about everything you can ask of it quite possibly with nothing lacking, less than a few digits at high speed. From the factory, the 450 promises excitement with its 31 horsepower Pro Star mill that's actually quite adequate in the power department. I mean, honestly, this thing's pretty good for an entry-level ATV. It says it's a 450, but since Polaris doesn't actually print the CC specs on this motor, we don't know if it's more or less. We guess it's all a 450 cc's as the little Pro Star sure likes to get you up to speed without hesitation. Corner to corner trail riding is spirited and enjoyable, and even when I choose to load up the front integrated storage compartment and add the available 270 pounds of rack capacity, I didn't get the feeling I was missing out. The power here is good, and it gets to the ground efficiently. I'm not really surprised about the power delivery from this 31 horse mill. Polaris are the inventors of the CVT transmission, and they know a thing or two about a thing or two. The Polaris PVT tranny sends power to the on-demand all-wheel drive that activates quickly and pulls the Sportsman up, over, and through anything you might encounter. Now when you hit the really technical stuff, the optional EPS power steering really adds a level of simplicity and comfort. It's easy to steer around the house or when you're in all-wheel drive and the tires are gripping hard. The upgrade will run you about a thousand bucks and while we do really like the feature, we find the 450 steers with minimal effort even in stock non-EPS attire. Now comfort is important, but what are you really gonna get in the way of suspension at this price point, right? Well, actually being that I've called it every man's ATV, I'm no fan of subpar suspension and you aren't either. With 8.2 inches of McPherson strut travel up front and a nice tidy little dual A-arm IRS out back that offers 9.5 inches, you got a solidly suspended ATV. It's comfortable on the trail, handles the front wheels getting light and is quite content with the added weight a larger rider or loaded cargo racks may provide. Truly the ride quality is very acceptable. And you know what? Actually, most test riders say they find it to be plush and comfortable even when the riding gets quick and the trail gets rough. To make this little budget-minded ATV hit a price point, Polaris need to do, well, not necessarily compromise, but cut the fat wherever possible. This translates into some things that truly aren't drawbacks, but just older technology. You get steel rims with a more basic 24-inch all-terrain tire, analog speedometer, incandescent lighting on headlights and taillights, 1,225 pounds of towing capacity with an inch and a quarter receiver instead of a true two inch truck style, and a slightly smaller overall appearance without bigger steel bumpers or racks. But truthfully, none of these bother me. It's some older technology with a bit of a size reduction, but at a price point that anyone can manage. This ATV fits in the back of even a mid-size pickup truck with the ease, takes up less room inside your garage, has a smaller footprint for doing yard work around the house, and yet still finds a way to deliver solid trail riding experiences. All this, and it tips the scales at $72.99 Canadian or $59.99 US. If you want the EPS, it's an extra grand in Canada and $800 in the States. Just because we're told that we need more doesn't mean that we actually do. And I think Polaris has proven that quite well with the 2016 450 HO. It's a whole lot of what you want and a whole lot less sticker shock. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to Dirt Tracks TV's YouTube channel so you never miss another update.